How did the NSR get broken even more? We spin in a circle and get every item. Almost every item. Every item item. But not some things that are technically not items. Yeah, we spin to win. Normal 100% is a little under 4 hours, with new developments probably closer to like 3.45. Or at least a good run would be about 3.45. Fire Temple is just the fastest way to get to the credits after we get everything. You are actually surprisingly limited when you don't have Furrow's Wind on B, and Furrow's Wind on B would take a while to get. So... Yeah, Swordless Down A ends up being... Swordless Down A with Fire Temple ends up being the fastest wrong warp to the credits. Ace definitely will be banned, just not in any percent in NSR. It'll most likely be banned in every category aside from any percent in NSR, since it defeats the purpose of those runs entirely. But in any percent in NSR, they will not be banned. As those categories are anything goes categories. Yeah, Ace just doesn't make sense to allow in most other categories, because in most other categories, the goal would be uh, do total control Ace, where you remove the file name character limit, and then you just type in, finish the rest of the run. Yeah, even all dungeons, it wouldn't make sense, because hypothetically for all dungeons what you do is you get to removing the title screen file character limit. Uh, then you just write a payload that sets all the boss flags to beaten and has all the blue warps warp you to the next boss room. So like when you're done, you load the file and you'll enter Goma's room. With Goma defeated, you step in the blue warp, it'll take you to King Dodongo's room. Step in the blue warp, you'll go to Jabu, repeat until the end. And so, it would just, like, it wouldn't even be a category, it would just be... You just type in the code, and then you just walk in the blue warps. And obviously, at that point, there is no longer any meaning to the speedrun. At which point, it may as well not exist.
it does sound really cool conceptually. Like, just from the fact that that's possible, that actually is kind of cool. Obviously, it's not a meaningful speed run, though. It's OT3 boss rushing out. No, because you set the bosses to be beaten. I mean, if you don't set the bosses to be beaten, sure, but then you're just losing out on lots of time. I mean, a boss rush itself would actually be kind of cool. Yeah, SRM is, at least right now, it seems like SRM is most likely to be allowed in any category that allows RBA and GIM. SRM, it, it, at least it seems like, no, nothing official, we still need to vote and stuff, but it seems like uh, SRM is just going to be treated like RBA and GIM. So any categories that allow those will allow SRM, any categories that ban those will ban SRM. That's just what it looks like at least. I mean, I wouldn't quite say length past any percent is a meaningless speedrun just because any percent period is the fastest way to beat the game. Like, it's obviously a speedrun that not a lot of people care about. It's like it's easy to not care about an any percent run when it does get to the point where like you're you're barely playing the game. But it wouldn't. I wouldn't quite say it's like a meaningless speedrun because it is still the fastest way to beat the game. Period. And that's what any percent is. But uh, when you get past any percent, like if that type of run is a different category, then it's like, why do you even have that category? Ages any percent? I think uh, ages any percent is. Isn't that just. Uh, I think you still have to play most of the game for ages any percent, and then you just like. You play like half the game and then you skip to the end. Well, I think even seasons you still have to play a decent amount. Probably like a little bit less than half, but you still like. Play a good amount of the game and then go to the end. Yeah, you do, you do ace, well, I think it's ace at least, in ages at some point, but it's pretty far in. The run, it's still like an hour and a half long run. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if, I know that the glitch that it does to warp to the end is capable of ace. I don't know if the glitch done itself is ace.
Uh, yeah, let's just crash the game. I will try not to crash the game. I would like to not have it crash either. I would also like to see the rest of the run. Hey, no crash. Almost just crashed there. From being careless. I was on hearts for a little bit extra, but that's fine. Plenty of skull toys. They get sticks, I didn't get sticks. I'm gonna go back and find sticks. First sticks. Okay. Okay, everything's good. I got everything, or almost everything at least. Also got a lot more rupees than I needed.
You have no idea what happened? If you have no idea what happened... So, the arbitrary code execution that we do there has... The, the rock is looking at the file name and running instructions from the file name every frame. And the file name, as you may have seen earlier, is... I, I do that every time. I split a master every time. The file name looks very strange. And what the file name is, is instructions to have the game give Link an item every single frame that the rock is loaded. And that item will be based on Link's angle. So I get really close to the rock so that it's basically always loaded. And then I just spin around and I get items. Thanks for three months, Mac MacRiff. But, um, it's not as simple as just, like, spin around to get all the items. It's it's like that for most stuff, but there's some things I have to watch out for. Uh, so some things will crash. Well, actually, there's really only one thing that crashes, is Master Sword. So, I- when I- When I'm, like, pausing and unpausing, I'm looking at my item menu to see where in the item list I am. And, like, when I get really close to Master Sword, I make sure to do a full left input so that I essentially skip over a few item values at a time to skip over Master Sword. Uh, same with the masks. For masks, I don't want sold out. Sold out doesn't really count uh, for the mask slot, so when I get to either Mask of Truth or Gerudo Mask, I do a full input to skip over sold out. I think for 40 months, I hope aliens believe in me. And then also for bomb bag, I have to only get the bomb bag for one frame. If I get it for more than one frame, then uh, it'll give me the bomb bag over bomb chew slot and permanently delete bomb chews. And there's a good number of other items that actually will permanently delete bomb chews. So there's a few other items I have to be careful to skip over so that bomb chews don't get deleted. And so, yeah, that's, uh, that's what's happening with that glitch. Toughest part of the run? That was definitely the toughest part of the run. The rest of the run is honestly pretty easy. What makes them permanently overwritten is just once a different item goes over the bomb chew slot, there's nothing that gets bomb chews back. Like, for some items like Deku Sticks, it's really easy to get Deku Sticks back. Like, you just get Deku Sticks and then if you had something else in that slot, you'll just get Sticks back. Bomb chews just doesn't work like that. It's just an inconsistency. And so, you just can't get rid of bomb chews at all. If you do, then you'll never get it back. And yeah, so this cutscene, so since I have the Shadow and Spirit Medallion already, as soon as I become adult, I am greeted with the Light Arrow cutscene, and I have no way to avoid it. But it does skip the last minute or so of the Master Sword cutscene. But still, the Master Sword plus Light Arrow cutscene is the longest cutscene in the game by quite a bit. It's like 7... 7.45. Will this PB? As long as I'm not stupid, yes. But that's a big if.
Yeah, Cookie Dough. I don't disagree with that statement. There, there was an old Hundo route where Dampe was pretty far in, and he was past all the all the hard stuff, and so I didn't really have a problem with it because it basically means if you're past Dampe and you're ahead, you probably PB. So yeah, I don't I don't think Dampe late in the run is really that big of a deal. Child three guards though, that's a little scary. God, this cutscene's still going. So at this point in the run, the only things I don't have are magic, double magic, double defense, and big Oran sword. And those are just because those aren't true items. The things that they control are outside of the regular item list. So like big Oran sword is actually a flag that separates a uh, giant's knife from big Oran sword. Magic, double magic, and double defense are all like separate flags. So they're outside of the item list that the thing I was using was giving was giving me items. Don't trigger Bolero. Pause while the B button is dimmed. 
pause now. So I steal the rod and pause while the debuff is dimmed to delete my sword. So now I'm swordless. And that'll let me use Furore's Wind in places I shouldn't be. Shouldn't be using it. Instead of having to get Furore's Wind on B. Yeah, down A. I don't know how many hearts that is. It's probably 40 or so. Actually, uh, how much time did I have on the timer when I first warped to Death Mountain Crater? It's that time divided by 8 seconds. Or, like, the total number of seconds divided by 8 is the number of hearts I, uh, I had. 530. Okay, yeah, divide that uh, by 8. And that's my heart count. 41. Okay, cool. I mean, I only need 20. It's just that I was getting hearts every single frame. So if I hover over hearts a little bit longer than usual. I Because I need to go from hearts to Skulltulas, which Skulltulas is right next to hearts. And I need to, like, be careful. Uh, I need to just, like, move a tiny bit to get to Skulltulas. And so... If I'm kind of slow when I move from hearts to Skulltulas, then I just get a bunch more hearts because I'm getting hearts every single frame. Okay, so instead of getting Bigoran Sword yet, I need to get double magic and then I'll come back out here to get Bigoran Sword. Uh, you can't f fill- well, depends on what you mean by fill the whole screen with hearts. Eventually, the second row of hearts extends so far that it wraps around. And so the second- then it starts continuing from, um... You'll keep getting hearts, it'll come in from the right side. Or come in from the left side and continue going right again. And so you'll get, like, overlapping hearts. And that can go around, like, three times until the game screen starts freezing from having too many hearts. <laughs> Although the game can still run, it'll just, like, the game screen will freeze, but the game will still run. I think for 19 months, Battle Hamster. Although at some point, the game will eventually just completely crash. Why not warm the screen up then? Yeah, we just gotta just gotta warm the screen up. Just go to Fire Temple. I mean, you have to get a lot of hearts before the screen freezes like that. I think you have to get. I want to say it's close to two hundred before the screen starts freezing. Oh, I should have played Sun Song there. Whoops. Still need two Sun Songs now. You can't get double magic until you get normal magic. So I had to get magic first and then go back to get double magic. No, dude. Wait, does this still work? I wonder if this works. I want to pause before this so I don't talk to the Gossip Stone. Okay. 
Hope I can get this. No, whatever. No, not whatever. This sucks. I have to enter Death Mountain Crater, or I have to enter Death Mountain Trail from Kakariko to set Ferora's Wind in the right place for Credits Warp later. I missed a Skulltula. Oh no. What am I gonna do? No, I wanna flip him over so he doesn't bother me. Thanks for four months, secret. Oh no, I forgot a skull Yeah, so when you're swordless and you do down A, which is the glitch where you climb something and then have your shield hit and you're still like sort of on the vines slash ladder slash climbable wall whatever you want to call it uh, if you have those two active at the same time then it keeps the same usability state of your items from before you did it so like i could use hammer before so if i equip Furrow's wind over that c, c button then it still is usable because it was usable before and so that allows me to use Furrow's wind there Yeah, the HUD's kind of weird when you have Swordless. Yeah, sometimes it'll be faded, and then like sometimes it'll appear during cutscenes. It's weird. I think for 27 months, Chromium. Yeah, I do want to try the total control route at some point. Yeah, so double defense, it only shows the outline for the first 20 hearts, but it actually does account for every heart. It does, it is double defense on every heart. Prove it. Uh, you'll see me take damage. Well, I guess, I guess the heart that the damage will go on won't be visible. Because my, my latest heart is off screen. Oh no, okay. And then by climbing this ledge during the cutscene, or as the cutscene starts, I have control. 
Oh, I can ignore this guy. ISG transfers between rooms if it's through a, a door with a knob. It does not if it's a sliding up and down door. And yeah, so the boss key, so the reason I have the boss key is really cool. So back when I'm doing that glitch in Kikuri Forest where I'm getting all the items, one of the items is a boss key. But it's just, if I'm just getting a boss key in Kikuri Forest, there's not really a dungeon associated with that. But when you get a boss key in different maps, uh, it can it can still give you a boss key for a dungeon depending on the map value. And so it happens to be that Kikuri Forest lines up with Fire Temple. So if I get a boss key in Kikuri Forest, it will give me a boss key in Fire Temple. And so I just happen to get Fire Temple boss key from that. Very lucky. Because it didn't give me any other boss key, only Fire Temple. No, sub-30 is definitely not possible with this route, with a different route, probably. With the task route, for sure. Task route would be barely longer than any percent. I delayed the two, because uh, if you do too much damage to Bobadja, you can go flying on the second pop-out. I actually didn't really like bother testing it, uh, if it happens in this case, but I just like didn't even want to bother trying, so... Uh, I hate doing that with up. I I'm I prefer doing that with down, but the camera is annoying there. Probably shouldn't move the control stick there. Dude. And so yeah, I had to do the the down a swordless thing again in in Volvage's room, so I could use Furrow's Wind to wrong warp. And that's how I beat the game. I got all the items and beat the game in 38 minutes. That storyline was terrible. Yeah, this is not not a this game does not have a very good story. What some kid just spins around, gets gets all gets all he's ever wanted. Oh, I should have saved that file. Show this to someone in nineteen ninety eight. Show this to the devs and have them freak out. Oh god, we gotta delay the game like a full year to fix all this. Sure, you can call it more than 100% since I had more hearts than usual. I also had more Skulltulas. Did anyone see my Skulltula count? I think it was like, what, 113 or something. 
Everyone always laughs at the debug staff. Don't like don't laugh at the debug staff. They they did their best. Who would win the debug staff for a 20-year-old game or 20 years of nerds trying to pick the game apart? It's hard to compete with that. 